And you're going to have to pay more for gas in Missouri starting tomorrow. There is a way, however, around that tax increase if you keep your receipts. All new at 6, our Missouri Chief Capital Bureau reporter Emily Manley is live to explain. Emily. That's right, ladies. It's been more than 20 years since the state of Missouri has seen a gas tax increase after voters have previously failed to pass hikes on the ballot. Currently, the Show Me State has the third lowest gas tax in the nation. Starting tomorrow, drivers will see a 2.5 annual increase over five years unless you keep your receipts and you file for a 100% rebate. So I'm getting my gas today so I don't have to pay the higher prices tomorrow. Starting Friday, drivers will be paying more at the pump. I just feel like it's more taxes up on top of what we already pay. Earlier this year, the General Assembly approved the 2.5 increase per year for five years, bumping up the state's tax from 17 cents to 29.5 cents by 2025. If you're a driver that's driving 15,000 miles per year and you've got a car that gets 18 miles a gallon, that monthly cost used about $1.34. Senate President Dave Schatz has been working to increase the gas tax for years, which funds roads and bridges. So our highway patrol is paid uh, from that gas tax because they maintain the safety and uh, security of the roadways. Once the tax is fully implemented, it's estimated to bring in $500 million. There's no doubt that our roads and bridges do need an investment, but we are staring at billions of dollars of federal investment that are coming. We have more money right now in the budget. Representative Mary Elizabeth Coleman is disappointed with the rebate program. If you don't lose them, if you're able to have everything um, in a shoebox for a form that hasn't even been promulgated yet, then it's not really a tax, it's a little bit of a farce. At an interstate ribbon cutting Thursday near the Arkansas border, the governor says the increase was needed. If you want to keep your state moving forward, if you want to do projects like this, it's going to cost something to do it. And I think we did the right thing in the state by moving forward. Debbie Lindquist says she's going to try to keep her receipts, but is worried the money won't be used on infrastructure. I understand the need for good roads, but I just think that MoDOT I think there's other ways to spend their money besides collecting more from us. Now, drivers will have to submit their receipts to the Department of Revenue, and they'll have to do it between July and September of next year. What you'll have to do is you'll have to enter how many gallons you purchased and where you bought it. Then you are recommended to keep your receipts for any possible audits. Reporting live tonight from Missouri State Capitol Bureau in Jefferson City, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.